Hello guys, welcome back to the vlog. I'm officially 28 weeks, so I wanted to update you guys, show you a little belly shot. I just got back from a doctor's appointment. I had my glucose test today. It is like rainy and not the nicest weather, so I just threw on some of my Fabletics wear. And honestly, I've been living in these leggings every day because they're so comfortable, they're maternity. I've been doing this a lot in the vlogs, so you guys can see like kind of weekly what my belly's been looking like. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, definitely follow me there because I do share um, bump pics and lots of pregnancy updates and stuff. So um, my Instagram will be below or I will have it right here on the screen. Yeah, I have been literally living in these Fabletics leggings. These are so incredibly comfortable. I'm not kidding, I probably wear them every day and I really need to wash them. They do have maternity wear, so any mamas out there, definitely check it out. I have this pair and then I also have a cropped pair. Um, they're the Pure Lux, I believe. This is what my belly is looking like at 28 weeks. They do measurements every visit. Um, he says I'm measuring great. Uh, as far as my like weight gain, I am a little bit on the lighter side, uh, which I definitely don't feel like it. I feel like I've gained a lot, but here we go. 28. He has been kicking me so much too. Here's in the front, from the other side. When I went to my doctor's appointment earlier, um, they told me that I do need to get some vaccines. I have to get the flu shot and the uh, whooping cough vaccine. And they also said that everyone that is going to be around the baby has to get it, um, you know, just to be safe. So I probably am gonna go do that today. I've been meaning to get the flu shot anyway. Um, it's like highly recommended. And with this time of year, I am not going to risk it because <laughs> I have been sick the past few years during this time. I swear like every Christmas, every December, I am getting sick. You guys have said it all the time too that I get sick very often. So I wanna be able to enjoy these next few months. And I know that their trimester is probably gonna be rough, but because of it being winter, and especially where I live, because I don't live in a warm climate, like we get snowstorms and Lots of sicknesses going around, stomach flu, all of that. So really want to take care of myself. I know you're at a higher risk when you're pregnant. Your immune system is down. So um, I'm just praying that I don't get sick and especially not the flu. It's raining out there. You can't go out there. It's all wet. I'm sorry. Come here. Let me wipe your eye boogies. I actually got some velvet caviar uh, phone cases for the new iPhone. I did get the 11 Pro, whatever the heck it's called. The one with like the three cameras. So I wanted to show you guys some of the cases that I got. Then he actually got me a case that I've been keeping on my phone. Um, and you guys always ask where all my cases are from, but majority of the time they're from velvet caviar. So I have some really cute styles. This one's like a... Uh, kind of like a purpley mauve with some rose gold florals and then they actually threw in a phone grip. So I have this one which is a nice marble and then I really liked this. This has coffee all over it because I've still had like a coffee obsession even though I don't drink all that much of it because I gotta watch my caffeine. This is super, super cute. I thought it would look good with like the gold too because I have the gold phone. And then I also liked this for like the spring and summer. The cactuses with all like the succulents. I thought that was really, really cute too. I got a few things for our baby shower and one of the things that I ordered was a cake topper. So I love this. I gotta go drop this off at my parents' house because they're probably keeping a lot of the stuff for the baby shower but i thought this was so cute it's really fragile too because it's like actually made out of wood and i think it's painted i'm trying to be so careful with it how cute is that for the cake topper and it's like the perfect color 
I also got a few sets of balloons. So I got um, these two sets, and I think I ordered these on Etsy too. But these are really pretty. It came with kind of like a turquoise color, baby blue, and then this color. And I believe that these are kind of like, sp not sparkly, but like have like a sheen to them. I forget what it's called. Great boy, it's not for you. He thinks it's like a T-R-E-A-T. -E uh, and then I also got these really cute balloons. These confetti balloons that say baby boy on them. And I think they have blue confetti and gold confetti in them. And I am in CVS. We are waiting to get our um, vaccines. And I'm also picking up a card from my mom because it was her birthday and we missed it over the weekend because she was in Florida. So I also had to change my shirt because I was wearing long sleeves and I needed a short sleeve shirt for uh, getting the shots. I am looking so rough today. Um, we actually just decided to order some food because I'm not feeling up to cooking. It's just like one of those days. I can't believe tomorrow is Halloween also because like I, Halloween's just not my holiday. Um, I'm ready for Thanksgiving and Christmas. I just like I'm not about Halloween. We're not like dressing up. We're not doing anything. So I think I don't know if we're gonna go tomorrow or like celebrate Friday, but like I said, it was my mom's birthday, so we want to celebrate with her. We did get her a gift, and she's probably going to be so shocked. Um, I need to figure out another bag situation because this is like literally coming out the top of it. We ended up getting her an Apple Watch. Um, so me and Anthony both have Apple Watches. I know you guys have asked me like my thoughts on them, if I like mine. Clearly, I don't wear mine as much. And I wore mine a lot when I was like actively working out, going to the gym and stuff because it really helps me track my workouts and everything. She actually has a Fitbit that she got. She loves it for like working out and stuff. And she wears it like every day. But the one thing that annoys her about it and I was sharing with her kind of what the Apple Watch does is that like she can't reply to texts she can only open them and see them she can't answer calls on her phone on her watch so we decided because she's been saying that she's been wanting the apple watch but she would never get it for herself she deserves it so we got her the series 5 the um white sport band and it's the silver aluminum so i hope she likes it i actually have the rose gold i think it's the rose gold one or the gold Maybe it's the gold with like the pinkish band. Could be rose gold though, I don't remember. Um, yeah, I just, I don't use mine as much, but she's the type of person that uses her watch every day. And I just feel like if you have an Apple phone, like if you have an iPhone, then you should have the Apple watch. So this will be a big surprise for her. She's not expecting it at all. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna see her tomorrow or we're gonna do something on Friday, like actually celebrate. So I'm like waiting to give her the gift. But I just ordered some of my essentials on Amazon because I went through an entire bottle of this and this. And I think I used it for, it had to have been like three months or so because I think I started using it like when I, um, got into the second trimester. I of course wanted to get it again because I've really been liking it. This is the Burt's Bees Mama Bee Belly Butter. And then I kind of do like a combination of this with bio oil. And also someone recommended this to me. And I, I feel like I've showed you guys in this vlog before, like what I use on my stomach. Um, did I even mention that? Yes, I put this on my stomach for like uh, stretch marks and stuff. I know stretch marks can't necessarily be prevented with cream. I know that it is like hereditary It's all like in your genes, but when my stomach feels very like stretched tight If it feels itchy at all, this does have like some great soothing Properties, so I just like to use it. You know, it can't it can't hurt to put it on 
But someone also recommended to try this because I like the um, belly butter so much and this is their nourishing body oil. This has vitamin E and supposedly this has like lemon oil in it or something, lemon peel oil. Forget who it was that reached out to me about this, but they were like, if you like the Burt's Bees Mama Bee, um, you should try their oil because it smells like lemon and if you like lemon, you'll probably like it. So I'm gonna see how I like this. Oh my gosh, this literally smells like a lemon drop. Literally smells like pure lemon. So this has sweet almond oil, lemon peel oil, something I can't pronounce, something else I can't pronounce, rosemary leaf extract, lysine oil, canola oil. This smells so good, so I cannot wait to try that too. Uh, I did order all of these things on Amazon, and the bio oil is a little pricey actually. This was like $15 for like a four ounce. Uh, this is probably one of like the top things that they say to put on um, for stretch marks because it helps with scars, stretch marks, uneven skin tone, age, aging and dehydrated skin. A lot of people always think like when they think of like stretch marks, they're like, oh, cocoa butter, but it's actually not always recommended to put cocoa butter on um, because it does have, if it's made with like real cacao, is that how you say it? Real cocoa, cacao? Anyway, real cocoa butter uh, has caffeine in it, so you have to be careful with that. I know that this has like a combination of butters and like oils. It has cocoa shea and jojoba butters yeah, cacao, cacao, right? Is that how you say it? It has like a blend of stuff in it. So it's more diluted, I guess you would say. Um, and then as far as the oil too, like I use this with the oil. But anyways, you guys know what I mean. <laughs> so it is the next day, it is Halloween. Um, please excuse all the mess in the background. I have so much stuff to put away this room really needs to get clean all of these boxes are giveaway winners that i need to mail out i'm just trying to finish up the rest of them but they're literally all like stacked up we might be going to my parents tonight just to like hang out and also because i want to give my mom her gift i mean like i said we don't really do anything for halloween so I think we're just hanging in. I just got ready because I wanted to take some pictures for Instagram. I had a few other like things to do for brands today. Anyways, so I wanted to show you guys kind of some makeup that I've been using recently because I've been getting a ton of questions. And I'm like also debating if I should do like a tutorial on my main channel, which I like don't really do tutorials anymore. Um, but I get asked so, so much like what eyeshadow palettes I'm using, what um, I have on my eyes because you guys have been, um, I guess, really liking like the warm tones and stuff. So I've been using this Maybelline 24-hour um, or Superstay full coverage foundation and then mixing it with my Estee Lauder Double Wear because... Uh, I love the double wear, but I ran out of my other shade and I need like a darker and a lighter. So I've kind of been like mixing these two. Uh, two and two buff, which is a little light. And then I also mix natural beige um, just to like warm me up a little. I mean, I feel like my arms are just always tanner than like my face, but I am getting pale because it's, you know, fall and ain't no sun out. Um, I probably will do some self tanner though actually before like my uh, baby shower because I feel like I'm gonna need it. <laughs> Especially with like the dress I'm wearing, like I just feel like it'll be nice. Also the eyelashes I'm wearing, if you want to know, uh, are Ardell Wispies, which actually this like side is like kind of coming off. My eye keeps watering. Um, they're the Ardell Wispies Double Up. These are what I use when I'm like I don't know a little bit more like fancy not like fancy but just like more done up than every day and then if I'm doing just like an everyday like super simple look I'll throw on just the regular wispies excuse me now Ardell has so many different wispies it's hard to tell 
which ones are which but these say double up on them and they say double wispies right here and then these ones just say wispies they don't like say anything else I don't know maybe I'll do like a video on like my favorite products I don't know what you guys want to see because like I don't know I feel like the videos on my main channel just don't do well anymore because I'm just like inconsistent and it's like my own fault but also because there's like so many other people that are like more interesting to watch as far as like makeup videos and stuff so I just feel like it's useless for me to do that like every time I upload like a makeup or fashion video on that channel it just doesn't do that well so I don't know I'm kind of lost <laughs> so a few of the palettes that I have been really really loving are the ColourPop palettes these are pretty much what I use like every day sorry my nose is running also just got this Urban Decay palette which I want to use and I threw the other one in a giveaway because it's this one's like more my colors but this is very similar because it's just all like warm tones really great for fall love the golds in here but this isn't what I've been using <laughs> I've been using the ColourPop ones and I love these. I've also, where's the other peach palette? Oh, um, I've also got this one, Baby Got Peach. It's a really nice, like, summer, spring palette, but also for fall because it has those, like, warm tones, you know, like those burnt orange colors. That's what I've been really liking. And also with, like, my brown eyes because I almost feel like it brings out a little bit of the green in my eyes. Um, so three of the palettes that I use give it to me straight is a little bit more purpley tone and plum toned um burgundy this color right here up front this shimmer i put in my inner corner and my brow highlight every single day even if i'm not using any of the other colors in here i always use that this palette i love so much this is new this is the whatever palette and i love like the design on it too again very nice warm tones and these ones have a little bit more like gold love the burnt orange in here i think i used a few shadows in here today this one is the sweet talk and i believe on my lid just for that shimmer i used melody kind of like rose goldish it's really pretty so i put that on my lid and i think that was it and I also like, I just, I don't know. I'm attracted to the warm tones. So if you guys want to know what I've been wearing on my eyes, one of the looks that I've been doing recently that you've been seeing, it's all using these ColourPop palettes. And they're so affordable. Like I just, I love ColourPop. I've also been wearing a lot of their like lip products because they sent me some PR and a lot of these lip glosses I've really been liking. Um, there's two colors that I've been wearing. This one's really nice. Also this one which is the ultra glossy lip and this one's in attention haul attention haul right now i'm just wearing stripped down lip liner I put a little bit of honey love lipstick but it kind of wore off and then i just threw a gloss over top and i got a gloss from milani and i really really like it it's like a plumping gloss as far as my face like my contour blush stuff like that uh i've been using the cheerleader by benefit uh sometimes for my cheeks i will use these and this is the ColourPop um peach collection and there's a few there's three of them in here there's a few blushes in here that i like that are peachy because that's just what i like um these two i've been really liking frisky business and fresh and peachy so I've been using that on my cheeks, but I can honestly switch out my blush here and there. As far as my bronzers, I love the Benefit Hula and the Caramel Hula. I mix those together and I feel like it just warms up my face and it's good for like contour too. So that's everything I wanted to share. I just took some pictures in the baby's room. It's coming together so nicely. I love it. I can't wait for the baby shower. I'm so excited to like nest and like get ready. I woke up with such bad back pain this morning it was like honestly unbearable anthony had to turn my heating pad on he had to like rub out my back i don't know what it is because i don't know if it's contractions i don't like braxton hicks i don't know if it's baby on a nerve like i don't know what it is i talked to my doctor about it and they wanted to make sure and rule out 
um, kidney stones and they said that I don't have any other like symptoms of that she like did something on my back and she was like if you had kidney stones you would be in so much more pain um so we ruled that out it kind of like comes in waves like it'll just like come on so strong and it'll last for like a little while and usually i have to like rub it out or put a heating pad on or something or just breathe <laughs> like breathe deeply and just kind of like let it pass he's like kicking me really really high up here Whew. that's how my belly's looking today And this is not a maternity top, guys. I literally tied it in the back because it's like, it doesn't fit that great. <laughs> and I wanted like a tighter top. All right, I'm heading in to get Grayson. Oh, the strap's in the way. All right. You look so handsome with your bandana. What a cute boy. He's so handsome. You look so clean. Got everything here. I'm bringing my computer because I have to get some editing done. Just touching up my lip gloss this is the one that I was talking about, the Milani one. It's like plumping. It's pretty natural. I don't know if it has a little bit of shimmer to it, but it's literally just like a nude. And this one's in champagne. We're gonna head over to my parents now. Um, and I have to get some editing done, but we're just gonna hang out, give my mom her gift, kinda just chill for Halloween. Um, I literally didn't even get candy. <laughs> Halloween next year is gonna be so different when we have a baby. But this year, I've literally, I've been catching up on so much work because I was literally sick for like a week and a half, so. <sighs> I've just I've just been crazy like working the past few days just trying to get things up. Oh no! What the heck? <laughs> Seriously? You would never get it for yourself. You'll never get it for yourself. I'll never get it for myself. What is it? My Fitbit that has emojis now. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I feel kind of bad because watch? because dad got you that but I didn't even give you, you can't watch. you can't do what you can do no, on that right. and you have an iPhone. I can't. You can't answer calls, you can't, can't. answer texts. Text messages. I know I can't. So I can't. there you go. You guys are crazy. Oh, this is the yeah, watch. So that's the watch. You take that out of the sleeve. Oh, Jesus. We got you the silver and with the white. The I don't know if you like that, but Wow. But this is the newest one. This is the Series 5. Change out the band, so Mom. slide in. Either way. <laughs> you can change That's to whatever so funny you want. because my sister was just saying when she came down here for the party, she didn't have enough. She forgot her Apple Watch. And she, was, and she said, oh my God, I can't believe I forgot it. Because she wears it every day. I just love it. I just love it. She just got Oh, wait. I did yeah. the wrong way. I put them on backwards. Yeah, you went on the other way. All right. Uh-oh. Happy Halloween. Treat. 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 Oh my god.